yeah, yeah. Don't be a damn go get this man. Don't be a damn go get this man. Don't be a damn go get this man. Go get this man you out with that. Just bought a stick in the can with a hundred. Give me a lick in the can with a twenty. Shit, I always wish in the can with a hundred. I ain't standing on some nigga that done it. We the one who drive the words to the country. Pop down the road, he sent him no money. I heard he sitting that bill like a tank. Plug trying firm and know we gon' run it. Scratching at the door, you know that I'm not. Back on the block, got whip, got drop. Drove on the curb, but they heard we were high tech bird out the sky, make it jump out the pack. No, I ain't gonna stop talking about the drop. Give me a lick and I'm bought me a white. Bought me a bitch of the clothes with the back. This bitch was trying to, if he didn't shoot that bitch, she would have mauled that nigga like a black bear. That nigga wouldn't be here today if he ain't had that goddamn gun. I been, I told you, go to my guy, I told he didn't even have no fucking gun. It's a damn shame. As a rapper, you have all this goddamn beef. All these people that want to fuck you over. This nigga ain't even get a gun until he started dating that motherfucker. She put his hands on him for the first time. Oh, shit. And he, oh, god damn, this bitch hit hard than a motherfucker. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. So I really don't feel like I should have to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. Welcome back to The Rap Trap. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearlessly of Ayo Nation and the Men 2 Movement. And this is, in hindsight, if you're not on the Patreon at this point, Patreon, very simple. Just click the little arrow on the side of the video. It should be on like the, the far left side, far right side, depending on what side we're on the screen right now. It's a fucking arrow. You hit that bitch, you're going to pull it down in the description box with the first link. So. Or you can just go to Patreon and just type in AYO and AYO Conseco gonna pop up. Shit simple. But here we are. Tory Lane's locked up for protecting this here. Alright? Meg Thee Stallion is a violent bitch. This is evident in the video that you probably just saw. But I wanna break down that video if we could. Let's get straight into this shit. This is her. This is the video where she breaks down, Meg the Stallion explains fighting her ex-boyfriend leading to jail time. Reacts to mugshot. That's a whole nother story. We're gonna get straight into the meat right here. Watch at this story. At the damn concert, bitch. At the damn concert. Like, bitch, what a way to find out your nigga cheated on you and had a baby. Like. Bitch, and the baby had been born. Like, the baby was here. The baby was damn near one. So I, like, snatched the nigga phone. And actually, I didn't even snatch it. The nigga was just going hard on his phone, like, typing hard to the bitch. And I'm like, who the fuck you texting? So I guess he was just tired of lying. And he just gave me the phone. And I'm looking through the text messages. And the do text that, messages. Do that sound like some shit a nigga would do? If it was a toxic relationship, which you, you'll hear in that video, if it was toxic... And he know that you about that retarded, stupid shit. He know that you insecure. This is why you put hands on a nigga. This is why you don't just walk the fuck away. Your loss. If you felt like you had some a nigga couldn't get nowhere else, then your loss. I'm gone. Nigga, whoa, I'm, I'm done with that. But because you're insecure, because you're a nothing ass bitch, because you know that you have nothing in your mind. You feel you have nothing else to offer but sex. When you look at other bitches, you get insecure. You see a a, a, a brown skinned bitch, fat ass, cute face, natural hair, pretty feet, good skin tone, you immediately look at the nigga. Nigga, you better not look. You didn't spot at the holes already, because you already putting yourself below these bitches. What the fuck is this? You already putting yourself below these bitches. That's the first thing. It's the whole insecure. And you won't find that out. This is the fucked up part. You won't find this out until you fuck the hoe. Until you fuck the hoe. So when we watch uh, uh, Don't Be a Menace to Society while drinking gin and juice in the hood or some shit like that. That movie where the hoe said, I can get a little crazy. 
Don't play it off like, oh, it is cute. It's not cute. When I say I, I get a little crazy, that means I'm gonna put you in jail for um, uh, fake domestic violence, fake sexual assault, fake rape. I'm gonna put children on you. It's gonna be crazy how I fuck you up. But you, nah, man, you know, that she didn't probably crazy about my nigga. I do got that swag, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, she probably. Not thinking with the right brain. Does this sound more likely, knowing that this hoe is insecure, she's fucked up by herself, and then looking at her mug shot, you can tell this hoe, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's only now that this hoe can afford the, the hair and the fucking makeup to where she can hide that shit. This is why she smiles in this video, but in when you see her regular face, she wasn't sad that she was in jail. She was sad because, look at me. I hate the way I look. That's what face that was. And that's how she really is. Same thing with Cardi B, same thing with any hoe without her weave and makeup. We finna talk. Like I said, I don't, I don't know if that this even gonna be on YouTube, man. You better get to the fucking Patreon. Did this sound more likely that this nigga was texting hard as fuck and then and then he gave her the phone knowing that he texting about a baby? That he actually, man, here, man. Look, look what this whole saying, man. You believe that shit? Or do it sound more likely that you was peeping that nigga the whole time because that's all that you're worried about. You're a nothing ass bitch. All that you worry about all day long, all night long is a nigga cheating on you because you don't feel good about yourself. This is part of the rap trap because these are the bitches that you will be coming in contact with. More so, the bitches that are groupies. When you get to see them without that shit or you get to see the ugly side of them. So the pretty outer layer, but the horrendous inside. Low self-esteem, daddy issues, just undiagnosed mental disabilities. No nigga would say nothing because of how she look. These are the things that are going to bear down on you as soon as you get into the game and get some notoriety. But let's get back to this. Does it sound more likely to you? Because this is important. Because it, it, it proves that she's a fucking liar. Does it sound more likely that she snatched the phone or that he handed her the phone? She's already fucking up the story. And I want you to pay attention how fast she said that. Very important. In a concert. Like, bitch, what a way to find out your nigga cheated on you and had a baby. Like, bitch, and the baby had been born. Like, the baby was here. The baby was damn near one. So I, like, snatched the nigga phone. And actually, I didn't have to snatch it. The nigga was just blowing hard in his phone, like, typing hard to the bitch. And I'm like... Who the fuck you texting? So I guess he was just tired of lying and he just gave me the phone. I'm looking through the text messages and the text messages was like, fuck he just, it. And he just gave me the phone. I'm looking through the text messages. Listen to the rest of the story. You in there, bitch, Megan. I don't give a fuck. You need to come take care of this baby. I was like, oh, so you got a baby? Like, and I was so mad. And y'all gotta know my temper is bad. I was so mad that I had to just try to collect myself and walk away. So I'm trying to walk away and my boyfriend at the time was really not trying to see me go. So I'm walking away and this nigga pulling on me and pushing on me and whatever. Like I said, it was toxic. It was fun at the time, but it was very toxic that I was young and I thought that toxic shit was cute, but it's not. Don't. This is just awesome. Let niggas put their hands on you and don't put your hands on niggas. Because I'm not going to say that I wouldn't put my hands on him. Because when that nigga got out of line, I was wrapping his ass up. But that, uh, that, ain't, come, that ain't come at a little cute price. Let's go back to the part. I was trying, I was, I collected, I, I got a bad temper. I was mad as fuck. I found some horrible news out. 
but I walked away. I'm done with you. When he get out of line, I was wrapping his ass up, but I find out that he got a baby and I don't do it. I didn't swing off on a nigga as soon as I seen that shit. No, I, I walked away and he was pulling and pushing me. Maybe he was pulling you because he was trying to get the phone back before you saw the shit. He wasn't trying to see you go with his phone. It's what happened. This is so fucking critical because as we're watching this Tory Lane situation unfold, We're getting the same thing. And just like in this situation, there will be no male side of it until the word is already, she's gonna get a narrative. And the reason why she touching and going with it is because she know what the fuck the truth is and she know it's a possibility that that nigga get out or some footage or some shit like that. He wasn't trying to see me go with his phone. You snatched his phone and you tried to run away like nothing ass bitches do. They take your phone and run to the bathroom and lock the door. And you gotta get my phone because you know some shit in there. Listen, man. Yes, anybody can get cheated on. But the chance of a nothing ass bitch getting cheated on is damn near a hundred percent. Because what you have to offer, now I'm like, okay, well, I got one nothing ass bitch. You know, I'm, I wanna see how this nothing ass bitch do. I wanna see how her head game is. All that's changing within these different bodies is the body. It's how she give head, how she throw it back. But that shit's going to get old. As I told y'all, my limit was like two weeks with a bitch. And I'm going, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no mind here, except for the head. There's no brain. And that shit just kind of make me feel, like I told you, man, if a nigga will fuck with a bitch that's 30, 25 years old, that has a mind of a 13, 16 year old, watching Love and Hip Hop, looking at their fingernails, doing this shit, and loving the way they look with makeup on, but hating the way they look without it, what the fuck is the difference than you fucking a 16 year old with a body of a 25 year old? All that, all that took place, all that took place was Tory got wrapped up in what he saw because success is sexy. Success is sexy. Did you not hear niggas talking about how they'll fuck Whoopi Goldberg and Oprah? Success is sexy. And then you tried it. You came out with your boy shorts and your bra on with no makeup and no weed. And that I keep trying to tell you niggas, man. After that fucking day, after that night of fucking, them bitches are going to be so fucking self-conscious because they're not going to stop thinking. Just like a nigga fucking a hoe for two minutes with no dick. Money bag, yo. And that's a whole nother thing, that whole R situation. Do you remember when R told Javante Davis, if a nigga ain't buying me a fucking Benz or better, I'm single. Do you see what the fuck money bag, yo, bought that bitch? I'm gonna get on you, my nigga. You're a trick ass nigga, and I gotta I got make you an example so niggas know better. Because as we see here, this nigga, Tory, didn't do his goddamn research because he wasn't thinking with the right head. He got caught up in the way that she was so smiling happy because she had on the makeup and hair. Catch that bitch as she was on that mug shot. Watch how quiet and docile that bitch would be. Put that fucking mask on that bitch. That bitch is in that motherfucker. It's the Cinderella effect. Your, your, your great grandmama came through the window and blessed you with the, the, the golden slippers, the dress and the fucking carriage and shit like that. Gotta be home before that shit melt off. Cover that shit up. This is the part of the trap that's so fucking 
relentless, man, because you will fuck up, man, looking at these bitches. You will fuck up, and once, you have to grow up. Once you're a nigga of prominence, once you have something, you gotta grow up immediately. Immediately. You can't think like a street nigga no more. Not, as much as that's promoted, you can't think like that no more because you're gonna end up in jail. When the fuck have you heard about Tory Lanez going to jail? And you got an uncle like that. You got a loved one like that. He was doing good like a motherfucker until he met that hoe. But he can't let her go. Tory, if you come out and, and, and you still on, and, and man, look, my nigga. My nigga, look. Woo. Woo. But if he would have studied the bitch, he would have realized, oh no, this, cause any nigga that fuck with bitches can tell this hoe is lying. I, I, I grabbed, he, uh, I didn't snatch it. No, he handed me the phone. He handed me the phone and then I said, nah, I'm done with this shit. And I walked away. Where was his phone at that time? Was it still in your hands? Because the story about to get deeper. The story about to get deeper. Let's get into it. I should have did this on the Stupid Rapper Show. Kill Price. So anyway, I'm and, he, and I was really trying to keep the peace, trying to keep the play because we was in a public environment. So I'm, I tried to walk away. The nigga pulling on me and shit, pushing on me. The nigga take my phone, throw it on the ground, stomp on that bitch. The nigga stomp on my phone. And listen, I'm tall. I'm five ten. My nigga at the time was six nine. Okay, so just picture that. So my nigga take my phone, throw it on the ground, stomp that bitch out. I'm trying to call my friends. I can't call nobody. I'm trying to call Jayla. So, the nigga take my phone, somebody call. You mean you stomped his shit? What do you mean you're trying to call? What do you mean? What are you talking about? You gotta think about these goddamn stories. You're trying to call somebody and he stomped your phone. So, He's mad at you because, listen to me, listen to me. Don't let that nothing ass bitch rhetoric fool you. Uh, nigga get mad at you when he get, that's a nothing ass bitch do that. Nothing ass nigga too. Nothing ass nigga too. But once I see that you have that right there, what, I, what I'm probably mad about is you probably didn't hit me and shit like that. Like it's a fight going on at this point, but you still making it seem like I'm trying to keep the peace. But you got a temper. And if you get out of line, you'll wrap them up. Listen to the story. Um, somebody call the police because they see you and a nigga get into it. So y'all gotta know it's taking everything on my being not to really spill off on this nigga in the middle of the street. He tried it really one too many times because you only got so many times to push a real bitch. <laughs> so the nigga had it coming. It just so happened that when I was ready to give it to him, <laughs> the motherfucking police pulled up when I'm punching. <laughs> so the motherfucking police jump out the car. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. They're saying ma'am, ma'am, ma'am because you're hitting him. You're making it seem like you was ready to hit him. I was just finna hit him. Then they come and they tell me, uh, they, they come see me when I'm punching. I'm, I'm explaining this to you so that you can understand that this is going to be what's said. Only the nothing ass bitch side is going to get put out there. You're a nigga. Hopefully you a real nigga. You're not running to social media. Look what just happened to me, y'all. Which is damn near what you gotta do. You're not trying to call the police first, which is what you better fucking do. You're not trying to do that. But she is. Somebody called the police at South by Southwest? There's no police at South by Southwest?
Don't believe a bitch when we even make up. Fuck that shit, my nigga. Fuck that shit, my nigga. Fuck it. We getting into it, dog. Fuck that shit. Don't believe no hoe when we even make up. She lying off the rip before she open her mouth. Because it, 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 dead, it just so happened that you think that bitch is playing as she doing that ghetto stupid bap shit. She's not bullshitting, my nigga. That's who she really is. That's her true personality. That's who she wants to be. The reason why nothing ass bitches want to dominate over a nigga is because they want to control your eyes. Because they know they, they don't, they can't just off them naturally. They can't keep your eyes on them because they offer nothing special that another bitch doesn't. You as a person should be so special and so unique. Not by putting green hair in your shit. My last, I got 80 inch goddamn lashes. Ooh, bitch, I got this motherfucker. Not because you went to a different motherfucking doctor to get your ass shots. But because you wear your natural hair. But because without makeup, you walk outside. You don't try to attract nobody but the motherfuckers that are attracted to you. But a nothing ass bitch gotta try to attract every goddamn body. Because they don't want them goddamn selves. Maybe somebody else will. And it's sad to see. And this is why I'm telling you, stay the fuck away from them. Why would you have to put on makeup a mask? You're putting paint on your face. That bitch and the bitch in the fucking mug shack are not the same bitches. Now, what happened is you was hitting that nigga, giving it to that nigga ass, and then he tried to protect himself the same way Tori did, then say that. But nah, that ain't that ain't cute. I gotta make it seem like I don't give a fuck what happened. If a motherfucker don't put their hand, I tell my daughters now. If you put your hands on anybody, expect to get hit back. I don't give a fuck what society say. If you put your hands on somebody, be prepared to get hit back. And if you're not, then don't put your hands. I don't give a fuck how mad you get about some shit. That will always be. Listen to when a motherfucker talk. When they say bad temper, old. Oh, When they say boss bitch, oh, because that means I want to dominate over you. Only one way. And a lot of the times, if you allow them to dominate most of the time, all the time, if you allow them to dominate over you, you lose all appeal. It's only fun if it's a bucking bull. If the bull is bucking, if you walking like a mule, uh, I'm going to get on. Uh, I need some action. I need drama. Good life, nice shit. They don't, they don't, I can't fuck with that. I'm addicted to drama. Not evolution, not prospering, not evolving, but drama. As long as there's drama, as long as there's gossip, as long as there's someone to talk negatively about, it's all good. All good. But the instant, the instant that the shit is good, Nigga cook, clean, take care of the kids, provide her, all that good shit. It won't even matter. Well, it will a little bit. But see, sex is mental a lot of the times. So you could have, you know what I'm saying, eight of them. And you know what I'm saying? And still it just, you they feel like you don't know how to fuck right because they not scared of you. When they say toxic, that means this nigga make me come. Bitches want to be punt. Let me stop, my nigga. I I'm giving nothing ass bitches want to be hit. That's just all of this to it. She gonna tell you, hit me, whether it be in sex or just she's gonna do something to push you. She needs that in order for her to have that sexual arousal that she needs. And a nothing ass bitch is a slave to her pussy. She's a slave to it. Meaning that 
if another nigga scared me or a nigga look like he just can't be tamed and you a good nigga, I'm gonna get an entanglement. I'm gonna do the Jada, my nigga. I'm gonna do the Jada. God. I just found out this nigga had a baby. Now the police are here, and now it looks like I'm the aggressor. And now, like, I just look like a motherfucking bad guy. So the police is like, "Ma'am, what's going on? Are you okay?" Da da da. I'm like, "Hold on, hold, hold on, hold on." No, he just had a baby. I just found him cheating on me. Da da da. And my why the fuck do you have to give all them goddamn excuses if nothing? Here's the thing. So you telling me that he stopped hitting you? You saying that he was putting hands on you, but he stopped when you started hitting him? Six nine. He stopped hitting you to where when the police come, they gotta grab you, ma'am, and all this right here. They didn't say, sir, stop hitting. Because if it was a nigga hitting a bitch when the police roll up, ain't no questions to be asked. They try to get equal. If there's a fight going on when they get there, ain't no question to be asked. Let's, let's listen. And my boyfriend, he mad, he mad, he mad. Fuck that thumb up, nigga, shut up, thumb up. So, I'm a real bitch. To the team, to the heart, to the core. The police officer asked me, did he hit you? Bitch, I look rough, my weed to the side, my shirt jacked up, my pants dirty because he been pushing me. So, me being the real bitch that I am, the strong black queen trying to hold it down for my black king, I say, no, officer, he didn't hit me because I don't want him to go to jail. Bitch, the motherfucking laws asked that nigga, did he hit me? I mean, the laws asked that nigga, did I hit him? That nigga said, yeah, he hit me, she hit me in the eye, blah, 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 oh, like he really gassing it. Like, this nigga said, yeah, she hit me in the eye. It's too much right there. First thing, first thing, first thing, first thing, kill that black chick, bitch, because if that was the case, you will respect him by not putting hands on him, first of all, first of all. Secondly, I, I got to go back because there was a point I wanted to get in there, and then also with that, that he hit me shit, that's a real suspect, bitch, real suspect. Um, oh my god, I just found out this nigga had a baby. Now the police are here, and now it looks like I'm the aggressor. And also, when bitches start talking like that, they lying. If you telling the truth, just tell the story. All this motherfucker, ah, and it did it. Oh my god, all that shit is for entertainment for dumb motherfuckers because she's trying to get the dumb bitches to be on her side. She don't give a fuck the niggas on her side. God damn it. Niggas ain't gonna do shit for her. She wants the dumb hoes on her side. Oh my god! Hey, yeah, yeah! Uh, I just thought I ain't cheating on me. Uh, that should be enough. Only in a, a nothing ass bitch mind can I assault the motherfucker and then give a reason behind it, and, and that means I don't go to jail. Only in a nothing ass bitch mind will that work. Hey, uh, what the fuck did that hoe say? My pants and shit is dirty. My wig to the side. Bitch, because a nigga was trying to get you to stop hitting him. That, see, that one, see, dog, that one I'm saying, man, a nigga got to know what's going on. A nigga not finna do shit in public. 6 9 this nigga play sports. God damn. Yeah, that's what happened. That what happened right now. The nigga playing sports in school. Oh man, look at this shit. Oh shit, and this shit ain't put up. And I ain't got no way to get through. Look at this shit. Ooh. That nigga playing sports. That nigga trying to have a future. Just like Tory Lane. But here come you. Here come the curse.
Here come the curse. And what you do. You fucking up a nigga whole. You can't be serious. I just put it in the other way. You fucking up a nigga whole demo. So that's the first thing. That's the first thing you pay attention to. Go to the YouTube class so you can find out exactly how to make sure you don't waste your time because the shit fill up on storage or the bitch go dead. But you, let's listen again. Yes, sir, and now, like, I just look like a motherfucking bad guy. So the police is like, man, what's going on? Are you okay? Da -da -da -da. And I'm like, no, you just had a baby. I just bought a chin on me. Da -da -da. And my boyfriend, he mad, he mad. He, man, fuck that. Da -da -da. Megan, shut up. Da -da -da. So I'm a real bitch to the teeth, to the heart, to the core. The police officer asked me. Man, when them hoes do that goddamn smacking lip shit, my nigga, I swear to God, boy. Man, I swear to God, when them hoes do that goddamn, when they do that shit, my nigga, tell you, my nigga, I'm, I'm trying to save you some time now. I'm trying to save you some time now, my nigga. Play that shit you want to. Tell you now, you think that whole bullshit and trying to be funny and shit like that, that whole dead fucking serious, dog. Did he hit you? Bitch, I look rough, my weed to the side, my shirt jacked up, my pants dirty because he been pushing me. So, bitch, you been whooping this nigga ass all through South by Southwest. The nigga, he, 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 see what I'm saying, my nigga? And the reason they ask you that is because they want to take this athlete looking nigga, the nigga who can make something happen in the community, they want to get him off the goddamn streets. They just pulled up and seen you beating his ass, and they still ask you. This. And you and see, you take that ass. See, I kept it real, bitch. You might have told the truth, bitch. You might have told the truth, bitch. And I'm probably good witnesses around. If y'all was at the house and you just found out nigga had a babe on you, bitch, you would have told. Yes, yes. That's why I was hitting them. That's probably what the fuck you said. They just probably ain't believe you. Man, don't believe these motherfuckers, man. But just because these motherfuckers caught you and asked you some retarded ass rhetorical bullshit, I saved this nigga life. I could have got down. So, me being a real bitch that I am, the yeah. strong black queen trying to hold it down for my black king. I say, no, officer, he didn't hit me because I don't want him to go to jail. Bitch, the motherfucking laws asked that nigga, did he hit me? I mean, the laws asked that nigga, did I hit him? That nigga said, yeah, he hit me, she hit me in the eye, oh, like he really gassing it. Like, this nigga said, yeah, she hit me in the eye. Bitch, you got to know they sent me straight to jail. Bitch, them hoes cuffed me. I ain't never been cuffed in my life. Like, bitch, I ain't never had no handcuffs on me, never in my motherfucking life. So, I'm sitting there on the side of the curb thinking to myself, damn, I'm finna go to jail. Like, I'm, I'm gone. Like, bitch, I'm going to prison. Like, I done put my hands on this nigga outside. He out here lying on me. So, my nigga had a baby. Ben had a baby. Baby been here. I ain't know nothing about it. Just. How is he lying? You admitted that you fucking hit him. Do you see when they talk bullshit? This this protrudes. It just what is he lying about? You admitted that you was fucking. You just started punching him. How in the fuck? I'm trying to tell y'all niggas, my nigga. Nothing ass bitches might be the biggest because even if you don't go. The record label route, you still gonna have bitches come through. And you're gonna have to know, you're gonna have to have insight to know that if you're performing somewhere, nine times out of ten, the good girls ain't coming. Good girls ain't coming, you do. Good girls ain't coming. They just don't wanna be around that many 
nasty, smelly, nothing ass bitches. It's just what it is. But a nigga try to, and just being young, and so many of us get our freedom in our whole life. Because if you miss a certain time, a period of your life, that's your whole creative period time. Nigga, you working at the steel mill, for, maybe. Working on the back of a dump truck, maybe. That's a good job. Come on, man. Just found out about it 20 minutes ago. Now I'm in cuffs. Now I'm gonna go to jail. My nigga don't care. So, bitch that put me in the back of that damn car. Oh, it smelled like pee. It was like a fucking bench in the back seat. What even see it was a bench. So, I'm in the back and I'm like, damn, I gotta call my mama. Like, when I get to jail, I gotta call my mama. Mama, if I would've told my motherfucking mama that I was going to jail behind this nigga, she would have drove to me and beat my ass. I would, bitch, I was scared, so I didn't tell my mama. So I'm in the back seat of the motherfucking cop car crying, and I'm bawling my motherfucking eyes out. Bitch, I ain't never been this sad in my life. Cause I ain't never been in jail. I ain't never had no criminal history, criminal record. I ain't never did, I, bitch, I ain't stole a pack of gum. So I'm in the <laughs> I'm in the back seat of the car and I'm like, damn, what do I do? Like, who do I call? I should call my grandma. When I get to the jail, bitch, they told me to take off all my clothes, bitch. I had to take off all my clothes. I had to take off my belly ring. I had to take off my goddamn piercing right here, bitch. And I don't take off my belly ring for nothing. The police made me take my belly ring off. So I'm in that whole crying, bawling. I'm about to die. I'm so sad. I can't believe I'm in jail. So. Bitch, I'm they good. put me in this ugly ass black. I'm good. I'm good. I can't. I can't take no more of that shit right now. I, I can't. I, look, my nigga. If, if if this your cup of tea, like if if ratchets is just like your cup of tea, like you probably be straight if you a nobody ass nigga. Like, but as soon as your name go up in a sense of in the street, you know what I'm saying? You got some street celebrity. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You just an untamed nigga, especially a fucking rapper. These bitches is coming with real deal hidden agendas. And it's not to boost your career. It's not to take you to the next level. It's to dominate. The less successful you are, the less competition they have, and the more flexibility they will have to go out and fuck who they want. My nigga Body said... A bitch just want to stay one up on me. So she'll cheat. And now all her shit is. This nigga can't get no get back. Nigga don't even know. But now she just paranoid as fuck. This nigga. Uh, let me see. Who you texting nigga? She know what she got going on. But she on you. Trying to make sure you don't even a goddamn skull. Fuck. Getting a promotion. Fuck that. Getting a better fucking career. Uh, I'm in school now. I, I do online school and, and, and uh, with my and I. The bitch do online school, my nigga. She a nothing ass bitch, my nigga. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit, my nigga. Fuck that shit. I ain't with that shit, man. Fuck that shit, dog. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save you, dog. You gotta be so careful out here, man. Just because it. It's, as a successful nigga, it's so many things that you have to dodge that seem natural. The Glock 9 situation, or just any situation, you going to get your you going to get your get back for a nigga doing something to your people, and you get penalized for being what the streets and the audience say that they want you to be. They want you to be a real street nigga. But not Glock 9, Tay K, Finesse Two Time, just name a nigga. Uh, he's stupid. Rallo. Man, how you got all that money and then you still trying to be in the street? But if I had that money, I'd just chill, bro. But as soon as a nigga you feel ain't, out, ain't about that, talk that gangster shit, man, that nigga ain't even about that shit. He talking about, bro, real talk, bro. I slap the fuck out that fuck nigga. I can't stand these rap nigga, bro. Swear to God, bro. I slap the fuck out that whole ass nigga. So a nigga had, man, that nigga got, them nigga shot at home, but he need do shit, bro. Your career on the line. Your career on the line. You got to do something. 
And in the midst of this shit, in, in the mix of this, what's that word? In the, not in the meantime, it's another word. In the, y'all say the word. You got bitches coming in and coming out. You got situation shit. Like these hoes know that they're fighting for a spot, especially when they first come in. So they come with full pressure, full pressure. Just straight head, straight head. They ain't even, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't trying to fuck, they ain't trying to fuck. They coming straight. They just trying to edge that, get a foot in the door because that's their only way of coming up. The bitch ain't gonna start no online boutique. She ain't gonna start modeling. She ain't gonna start none of that shit. She'll probably do that modeling shit. But she ain't no branding, ain't no advertising, ain't no hosting at no club until she is your ex. You get with Chris Brown, you got a whole fucking career. All I gotta do is be his ex-girlfriend. It pays to be a victim. Play up on that, I just can't believe, I just wanted to love him. A nigga has to tell me what's safe to do as a rapper. That's why you gotta commend niggas. I wanted to say Drake, but the Adion shit just killed that. But what can you do with a bitch as a rapper that you just totally safe with? Like, you can't even fuck a hoe without her saying, uh, yeah, I can see it at first, but then I told him to stop and he kept going. When in the fuck did you say stop? Like, before, after, or during, you was telling me don't stop. It's so good. Oh, I love you. And niggas will get played because most of these rap niggas that get a chance is really lame niggas who never had no hoes. Like, you got to understand, before you become a popping artist, you're a not popping artist. And there's nothing more laughable and embarrassing to be than a up-and-coming artist. Go to Conseco's Rap School and you'll learn about how to beat that shit. Get the YouTube class and you'll beat it. But you don't have an abundance of bitches. And the bitches that you get up, at best, sevens. And now, at your disposal... I didn't like what little baby did. They say that he got with a hoe that just just did him despicable. Motherfucker did him despicable when he was coming up. But then nigga got on and nigga just, these niggas don't be like that. Niggas swear to God, they slang an iron. And some niggas that slang iron in the street don't be like that with the hoes. Niggas be real deal in love. These rappers is not like that. And they, you know what I'm saying? They nerds. And they, uh, I'm, I'm gonna love you forever. This nigga money bag, man, I can't believe that shit. Like, and then here's nothing ass bitch baby mama, she trying some, ah, hell yeah, I'm goddamn uh, mad about him buying that bitch a Lambo truck. He ain't been with that whole six months. And it's like, dog. But I, I can understand that too, like, with you being in that lane, in that rap lane, a bitch that got sense, who is actually on her shit, is like, nah, I'm good on that rap nigga shit. Because she got her own thing going on and she trying to build. Good on that rap nigga shit. I feel it, but that, that just ain't my lane. You know what I'm saying? I don't want a nigga that's only looking at me and just the way he talk. I don't even like the way he talk. Man, come on, man. You got a bitch that's singing your, your lyric. I'm going to bring a friend and make them happy. Like, just... She with all that shit because she don't know shit. She doesn't have nothing in her mind, hence her being a nothing. Else. Everything in her mind is primal. It's nothing there. Fight, fuck, drama. Fight, fuck, drama. What about, you know, uh, how do you feel about politics? Fuck Donald Trump. Black Lives Matter. You got a nigga on child support, you put a nigga in jail for a false rape case, and you got a nigga in jail for beating you, and you beat his ass up. So what the hell that for me? Whoa, I'm good. And you're, you're gonna find out as you move forward, I just hope you don't gotta go to jail for this shit and get your whole record fucked up. To find out that your weak spot is your weak spot. 
that that rib that you gave, what you created was contaminated. What you created was contaminated. They told them motherfuckers, our women, all women, they told them that you can substitute a male for money. This is why bitches believe that no matter what kind of white boy I get, if I get me a white boy, I'm on the up and up. And other bitches will look at her saying, oh, she got a chance of being somebody. Oh, she can her life straight now. This motherfucker a milk head like a motherfucker. She can her life together. See, she got that white boy. She taking it serious now. She had a welder. And she cheated on him. With a nigga that got murdered in the street. And now she's with a fucking meth head. She's gonna like to get enough. What in the fuck are you talking? But it's just. And like I said, if, if a nigga believe, ain't nothing lamer to me than a nigga who thinks he gonna beat the nothing ass bitch consciousness by going to another race. Like, have you not seen the Kardashians? Have you not seen Cardi B? Nothing ass bitch means she has nothing in her mind but primal instincts. Always fearing that uh, a nigga is leaving her for someone that's better than her because she feels lower than it. That's why she has to put on paint before she goes outside. Did you see Cardi B when the, the news people came at her and she didn't have that uh, the hair she wanted, the fake hair she wanted, or the paint on her face? Did you see how humble she was? Did you did did you uh, did you catch the lack of smile? Catch them hold with that makeup and goddamn weave did. Bitches like Jason with the mask on. They turn the fuck up. So it is what it is, my nigga. Free Tory Lanes at this very fucking moment. This bitch was trying to. If he didn't shoot that bitch, she would have mauled that nigga like a black bear. That nigga wouldn't be here today if he ain't had that goddamn gun. I been. I told. Go to my guy. I told. He didn't even have no fucking gun. It's a damn shame. As a rapper, you have all this goddamn beef. All these people that want to fuck you over. This nigga ain't even get a gun until he started dating that motherfucker. She put his hands on him for the first time. Oh shit. And he, oh god damn, this bitch hit hard than a motherfucker. And the nigga was probably still wondering if she had the Sierra. Y'all remember that rumor they had about Sierra back in the day? If you don't know, look in the comments. They'll tell you about that Sierra shit. The nigga was still questioning, not knowing what's going on. And this bitch planted up. Hey, y'all niggas joking about this shit. Who joke about a nigga shooting a bitch? Well, the nigga ain't nothing but goddamn five feet even, bitch, and you six feet. Bitch. Nothing but muscle. Man, come on, man. You hit that man one goddamn time, that man said no more. You probably punched that nigga in the chest and he felt, and I'm hearing that you did that shit in front of folks. You don't think she got it in her? Did she just do that shit in South by Southwest? When she say savage, she not talking about no, uh, no. For real, for real. Like, I will get real with you. My nigga, if you don't think a bitch can manhandle a nigga, my nigga, you better go look at some shit, man. Just type this. I'm sure we can type it in on YouTube right now. And you will just see, I'm trying to hold it with just nothing but goddamn, just up and with hold. Stop that, Aki. I seen a bitch up with a nigga. I seen a bitch just get, give it to a nigga to where he couldn't even do shit. You seen the nigga, uh, the nigga Kevin. I'll probably do an interview with that nigga, but this nigga ain't even have a phone. This bitch was texting back. Like, I, I'm going to put them uh, text messages up, too, on the uh, Patreon. This bitch texting back. Like, this this the, 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 the fucked up mouth nigga who was talking about, um, I didn't want the goddamn tell my bitch, let me meet the nigga. Let me, he was telling his baby mama. Let me meet the nigga that you with now so I can see who around my daughter. This big, shrek-looking bitch came through that bitch. 
You still talking about that hoe? And bitch just, I'm talking about, man, you seen that goddamn video, man. Man, look. Everybody ain't finna go for that shit, dog. If I, what the fuck am I supposed to do? If I can't beat you physically and you assaulting me, you wouldn't look crazy if a man was beating a bitch ass and she shot the nigga. Man, come on, my nigga. Come on, dog. Free toy lanes at this very moment. At this very fucking moment, man, that man protected his goddamn self. This, if we talking about equal rights, it's equal rights. And Tor, you need to come out and let it be known, man. Ain't no shame in that shit. You can't help how big you is. Nigga. They ain't got no operation for that shit yet. You fix your hell, but you can't fix your height. Nigga. And you feel like putting on muscle, that'll fuck up your image. So, nigga, you had to do what you had to do. This bitch from Houston, man. This is a down south hole, man. You from Canada somewhere, dog. You ain't stand a chance in the beginning, my nigga. Free that nigga, man. Real talk, dog. Yeah, man. Uh, Y'all laughing about a nigga shooting a bitch. Are you serious? You won't tell your son if the bitch is beating up on you? Didn't our mama tell us? If the motherfucker keep hitting you, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. He, they hit you, you hit them back. If they bigger than you, then pick up something and knock they fucking brain. Like, ain't that what the fuck he, he spared the bitch? He didn't kill a hoe. Bitch, bye get the fuck off me. Bye get the fuck off me, bitch. Stop hitting on me. Bitch. Ho? Bullets probably didn't even penetrate your fucking heart. Never mind. Let me get out of here, man. Look, man. It's a lot more things out here than just niggas, police, and the uh, fucking label, man. If you don't want these nothing ass bitches, they're going to take your everything you done built, everything you done worked your whole life for. You done worked your whole life to get somewhere in the music business, and you got with this bitch. Thinking it was going to help your career, and look what the fuck happened. We're going to be a power couple. We're going to be like Jay-Z and guy. And most of you motherfuckers turn out like... I can tell them. Nigga doing bad, bitch doing good. Near by the side with the bitch. So it is what it is. Uh, make sure you go to the Patreon. Um, make sure you fuck the Cash App and the PayPal. I appreciate all the love that we get, man. Um, Y'all know how we doing this shit. Um, Y'all know something coming out on the Patreon tonight. Uh, what else we got going on? I think that's about it. How do y'all been? I'll see y'all in a minute. Love, love. Let me search for this uh, hoes beating up niggas. <laughs>